we made uh, – I did a really poor job getting us ready to go. I feel uh, awful for our fans. Everybody showed up today. We'll do a better job. That game's not going to define us. It's a long season to go. But uh, I certainly didn't do a good enough job getting us ready to go today. Just that. It's a long season. Nothing matters. But what, what goes on there, we got to improve. We've been in worse spots. It's week one. we got 16 games to go. And a hat's off to Philly. They did a great job coming in here. They took advantage of situational football. They scored in the red zone. We didn't. And then we got down. We played right in their hands. So that's what happens when you get down multiple possessions and you get obvious exactly what happened, what you saw at the end there. Yeah, I mean, the first one, I think we were first and five. Tried to plug a run in there. Um, went for a quick uh, play action right there. Didn't get it, clearly. And then, you know, third down, they got a little bit of pressure there. But but that's what happens. I mean, you get in the third down, you're obvious. You know, I, I got to do a better job. I got to go look at the film. I don't want to overreact, but that's what it looked like on the field. Second one down there, D-led, you make every mistakes. I mean, we go, you know, go a little play action cover the guy up so if we, if we had caught it, it would have been ruled back. Those are self-inflicted wounds, and that's that's where I'm really uh, – I got to do a better job there, D-Led. Yeah, 338, you're, you're back up at the eight, you're a false start. And, sure. You know, well, it's bad it's football. Situational right. Like yeah. Well, no, I was talking about the one where we got down to the two and we kept getting backed up at the end of the first quarter, I believe, going to the second. Mm -hmm. So hats off to the Eagles. You know, like I said, the yards don't matter. You go down there, you gotta you gotta score touchdowns. It changes the momentum of the game. And right before the half, the one you're talking about, yeah, we get the false start. We're trying to get it backed up to get into a drive and be smart there because they get the ball coming out in the second half. And you're backed up. When we were backed up, they won the field position battle. You name it right down down the list and that and credit to Nick and their staff and really their players. And like I said, we didn't we didn't ha we didn't win that situation. You, you get the false start. We don't get the first down. We gave the defense a short field. They're fighting, and they scored right before the half. Well, because you go in there and, and when you have look, you're going to have penalties, guys. I mean, like you know, nobody's in in this league is coaching to hold. Uh, that doesn't happen. And those are you know those are fouls within the in the play of the game. Um, I got to go back and look why those ones late, what we need to do better. Again, I don't want to overreact to that. Uh, the officials have a hard job. I don't, I don't ever blame them for anything. It, it's just I got to see what we're doing to make sure if it's something obvious that we made a mistake there. We're just dropping back, and they're playing zone coverage, and guys are going route. So I don't know. I have to look at that, Michael. It's the stuff pre-snap, the false starts, the things we you try to pride yourself on, and we do that in situation. You're backed up. You don't get a moment. You're going to give them a short field. Um, you get down into the two-yard line and, and you have a legal formation. I, I've got to clean that up. So, yeah, I do put that on me. That, was, was there anything you saw this week in practice that led you to think this was a clean result? No, but, but you go historically to a lot of week ones and, and you go in there and you, you – yeah, that's it, hard to answer that way without sounding like I'm making an excuse. So, I got to look at the film, Michael. I got to evaluate what we're doing. Um, just to make sure these guys understand. I mean, when, when we're getting fatigued, like, we just got to do the basics. No, the narrative you're going with about Matt and deep shots, no. I mean, the, the, the game plan was to not let what happened at the end of the game when you get obvious and you got to play obvious football, and that's a, a damn good front. I wasn't just sitting there pumping their tires. It's the truth. And when you get obvious, it, it's – it's hard, and then so you look at the stat line, and D. Led, you probably tell me, would we give up three sacks late? Yeah. yeah. So you're playing three three quarters in a two position game. Uh, certainly not pretty, but when you got obvious, you playing right into their hand, and that's what happened. And that's what I was trying to avoid all game. And I thought, you know, we did a pretty decent job in the first half. Uh, he was pretty clean, and we we obviously didn't didn't score the touchdowns, which led us we got down too many possessions, and that's on the offense. I mean, the defense out there fighting and. We didn't put any stress on them. Josh, when you're right, did they make any specific adjustments after no. the first two drives? No. Just a matter of no, they played, they played there, and that's not a shot at John. or the, right. You know exactly what they're going to do. Uh, they're lying on their front, and they're going to play zone coverage. And, again, when you, when you get behind the sticks and you're not moving the ball, you're playing right in their hands.
and that's what happened. Yeah, I think we had four possessions right in the first half. So we had two go down. We only come away with six points. Hats off to them. And then uh, the one before, the last one that D-Lev was talking about, yeah, we got to go back and look at that one. That, that was obviously we needed to get something going there. It's about scoring touchdowns in this league and about eliminating self-inflicted wounds. And we didn't do a good enough job. Do a good enough job and I've got to do a better job. So, And then the one before the half, you're trying to play the game there. You, you know, you want to get going on a drive, you're backed up, but you also don't want to go three and out in 10 seconds and give them the ball back. So we had the penalty, we didn't convert, and you saw the end result. They scored a touchdown, and then we had another penalty on the extra point. That's the stuff, right? I mean, those are, those are, those are subtle things, and then they end up going for two, um, and that's to, completely on, on us, but that's what happened. It would have put heat on anybody at the end of that game when you're down multiple possessions like that. Uh, that's that's not that's not our excuse. Um, that's that's worth the credit to them. They beat us, and whether you know we had a rookie or you know you're sitting back there and you're and you're throwing it 50 times. I mean it's that's a good front played right in their hands. But specifically with Mayfield, where do you where do you go from here with him in terms of? Because we go with the rest of the team. We got to get better. I got to get better. So uh, I think that one's pretty obvious. Uh, you know, I got to go back and look at the, the, the film. Certainly, he didn't look like uh, they were doing anything for him the first couple drives. But as the game wore on, you know, whether it was Jalen or anybody, we, we, we didn't hold up at the end when it was obvious. Yeah, well... Again, you're in the heat of the game. Um, in my opinion, it didn't matter. I was just pretty much asking what what they're seeing up there. So, you know, you're under. It's a scoring play, so it doesn't matter whether you're under two minutes or not. They're going to look at it and confirm it. And so, again, they, they got a hard job. I, that's, that's no. I was trying to ask him what they were looking at. It's pretty much what I was doing. Yes, pretty much. I'm evaluate everything, Jeff. Whether we win or lose, you know we got to turn around. We got 16 more of these things. Like I said, I, I've been in worse situations. The narratives write themselves. We have one. I could, you know, you can write the narratives. You lose. Either one, neither one of them are true because we got a long journey ahead of us and we got to get better. So, um, where where I think I'm frustrated is I got to evaluate what I'm doing, whether it's coaching, messaging, about let's get lined up and not when you're on the two yard line get an illegal formation. That, that's, that's the stuff that, that really concerns me. So whatever, whatever you, you feel like it is there, Jeff, but, that, but that's just the, the truth, and that's come from me. I'm not trying to be a martyr here. That's my job as a head coach. I'm responsible for the entire team. When you go out there and you have those self-inflicted wounds right there, and that's a problem. Sure. It's week one. Look, look if we had won... Or loss, uh, you you always worry about you know guys believing with stuff that's not true, because it's such a hard journey. And if we don't if we don't come in tomorrow, and correct what what needs to be corrected from this film, and we don't turn around and get ready for Tampa, who's had a couple of days head start on us, then we got issues. And that would be the same whether you win or lose. And that's going to be my approach every Monday, or I guess Friday after we play New England. And and that's the name of this game. You've got to improve. And so if you want to say the message. We're not going to be the team today, whether we won or lost, that we're going to be in October, November, and December. And so we have got to get better, and i got to do better. I don't know about that. Um, I'd have to look at the film. All right.